Hello everyone, thanks for watching this video. So I need to today, I need to process a um, 120 medium format film. So I thought it was a great opportunity to do a little video about um, processing a film like this and what equipment you'd need and um, the development and the chemistry and all that sort of thing. So I'm just going to do a little video, um, nothing too sort of detailed, uh, about processing a Ilford HP5 plus 120 film. Um, so this film I uh, shot a couple of weeks ago when we had a little bit of snow and I used a box brownie so I had no control over the exposure or the shutter speed or anything really. Um, all I simply had to do was just release the shutter um, to take the picture. So I don't know what's on here, if anything, but I thought it's just a great opportunity to do a little video about um, processing a film like this. So. I hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions or comments or anything please leave them below and um, I'll get back to you but enjoy. Okay so to start with we're going to talk about um, loading the film onto the reel which then goes into the development tank to be processed. So with medium format um, what you have is you have a layer of film and you also have a layer of paper um, so when you even peel this, you say they'll be layered um, on top of each other. The paper is to protect the film and then the film is obviously what gets exposed um, in the camera. So it's it's going to be hard to demonstrate exactly what you do because you, you have to do it in a um, blackout like light bag so that you don't expose the film. But what we're primarily going to be doing is peeling the paper away from the film and then loading the film onto the reel. So using one of these development reels you'll notice that there's a couple of what I describe as teeth. Um, and I'll bring it in closer so you can see. See those two sort of triangle chunks there. What we need to do in the bag and say um, you need to load the film onto this and then move it along. So I've got a piece of medium format um, film here which is just something that's been um, developed. So what you're going to be doing in the bag, in the dark, is loading. So you've got to feel for these two teeth and then you load the film through the, te the teeth and then you come to a couple of little metal ball bearings which then you can pull that through and then being very careful you can turn the reel which then loads it onto, uh, sorry, turn the film the reel which then loads the film onto it. So you can see what you do then is you keep going with that and then the, the negative will keep going round and round and round until it's loaded on. It's easier said than done. The only way to properly sort of feel comfortable with this is just practice, 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 practice. Um, you know, sometimes you might get really lucky and, and get it after a couple of tries. Um, sometimes you may get to a point where you've been, your hands have been in the bag for so long that they may get really warm. What I would do then is just put the film into the tank, take your hands out, have a breather, have a cup of tea, um, just, you know, just maybe just have a bit of a practice with, um, I don't know, if, you, if you've got a spare bit of a negative or some paper or something that can go through, but just take your time with it because it can be really frustrating when it's not going on. So that's simply, once that's all on there, you then just peel off at the end of the, the film reel. There'll be a piece of masking tape that's got the end bit of paper attached to it. Just pull that off, wind the last bit on into, put that reel then into the development tank, which you say has got a couple of little parts to it. So you've got the tank itself, you've got the central uh, hole, you then load the loaded reel into the tank, the lid, which is where you pour the development and you also helps um, keep out the light on and then the overall lid. And then that would be your um, film loaded into the tank ready for development. Okay, so I'm now ready to start my development uh, of this film. So I have here uh, my water, 
which is uh, about 20 degrees. I also have here um, the correct amount of developer I need. So I'm using the developer um, which is called Rodnor, which is very strong so you actually don't need a huge amount of it so it may look like there's not a much but actually um, you know it, it doesn't need a huge amount for this particular um, developer. So I have here I have um, so I'm making a 500 mil total solution for this film. So I have 9.8, <laughs> the closest I can get to 9.8 of um, developer, and 490.2 mil of um, water. And again, as close as I can get to um, 490. Um, so that's for my 500 mil solution. So what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to mix the developer in with the water um, and just make sure that it's all um, mixed up properly and that there's no separation between the um, developer and the water. It needs to be stirred in. And then all I'm simply going to do is tip the whole content into the tank and start the agitation. So for agitation, we're simply just turning the tank up and down, up and down three times. Some people use um, a little stirring rod which attaches inside to the, um, the spool and they turn. I personally always just done it that way and then bang to get the, um, the air out of it. But I'll do um, a couple of agitations so you'll see and then I'll speed the video up because they say it's going to take 11 minutes for development. Development done, so I'm just going to tip the developer back out into the container. Okay, so the next process is the stop bath. Now, what this primarily does is just stop the chemical reaction, um, the development. So what you can do is you can buy um, stop chemistry, photographic chemistry. It'll do a really good one. Personally, I have just got into the habit where I just use water. It's probably not the, the most professional way, but to me, it does uh, exactly the same job. Um, but say it just um, doesn't have that chemical impact. So I've just got five, six hundred ml of water, which then I'm going to pour into the tank. So that was just normal tap water put the lid back on and this is saying to wash for um sorry to stop for one minute so i'm just going to press continue again on that and all i'm simply going to do again is just agitate it a little bit just so that the water covers all the film and then i'm just going to let it rest for a little bit okay so the wash is now done so again what i'm just going to do is because this is waste now i'm just going to tip this into the uh, same container as the developer as we're not going to be using it really again. So now it's the last part of the process, kind of the chemical development base, which is the fix. Um, so what I'm using is I'm using Ilford, you can see, Ilford Rapid Fix. Um, this can be used on paper and film. So I'll leave the, um, the uh, volume 
the, the total in the comments below but I've pre-mixed some so that what I can do is use it again so you don't have to throw this away um, you can keep using this um, for a number of times until the chemical becomes exhausted so just tip the fix into the tank and this is going to start to work on fixing your negative so that when you take it out and expose it to light it won't fog so what I've done is I've just put um, the amount in so that it comes up to the top of the, the reel. I'm going to put the lid back on. And the fix, um, fixing stage of the of um, development can take anything from 5 to 10 minutes. I always tend to go for about 7 to 8 minutes just to make sure that it is uh, done. So um, yeah, so I'm just going to now agitate this for a little bit and then just leave it in the fix to work its magic and then we'll get ready for the final stages which is washing okay so now the fixing stage is complete um, so i'm going to put the fix back into the container so i can use it again for another time and what you can do is when you start your washing, you can do a bit of a basic wash. Take the film out, have a look at it, make sure it looks okay. If you notice that it starts to go cloudy, quickly put it back into the fix because it means that it hasn't fully finished um, fixing yet. So you can check your film and then carry on fixing if you feel you need to if you notice it's starting to fog or kind of cloud over so that's the fix got so what i've got now is i've just got some water um again another sort of 500 ml to start the washing process so i'm just going to put that in there there are several different ways that you can wash film um on the app it suggests uh like 10 minutes washing uh in Water, um, clean water and then you sort of empty it and put more uh, fresh water in it's entirely up to you there are different ways um, some people do like a bit of a countdown so you do 10 agitations clean water eight agitations clean water um, but I just simply do um, the time um, of about 10 minutes and then just agitating um, it on every minute really for my wash uh, has finished so I'm going to unscrew the top and see what's happened in here so it's kind of on the reel let's come off a little bit it does look like there's been some fogging but I kind of think it's from the camera not necessarily um, the development but we do have inches which is fantastic I've got some results that you can hopefully see I hope I have it the right way um, so this was a very old Kodak, Kodak sorry box brownie camera uh, using Ilford HP5 plus 120 film so it does look like at the top that there has been some fogging but I do think that's from the camera but you can see some images so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to pop that back in the wash for a little bit longer um just purely because i've got a lot of fingerprints over the end now so i'll probably wash that for another five minutes or so and then hang it to dry and what i'll do is i'll scan some of the final images so that you can see um what they've come out like thank you so much for watching this video and say so if you have any comments or questions um, I'd love to hear from you and in particular if there's anything that you would like um, perhaps a little video on uh, I'm not the, the biggest expert when it comes to sort of traditional photography uh, practices but I love doing them I love learning them so it would be a good way to share my learning experiences with you all as well and if you have any tips um, or inspiration or anything just let me know i'd be really interested so um if you like this video please give it a like give it a subscribe leave a comment uh follow me on instagram or twitter or facebook but yeah thank you very much and i'll post another video again soon